Hey guys, Paganacci here. Last time we managed to find the Gek and brought it back to the village. But our beloved village people are all gone, possibly kidnapped, and now we have to find them. To make things a little bit easier, I will first try to find this car people were telling me about. I looked it up on the internet and now know exactly what we have to do to get the car. First off, we have to visit Walled City again. There we find Vic's daughter, Valeri. She gives us the toolkit. Next stops at the Gecko. Here we trade the toolkit with a fuel cell controller. Then we head back to the den, where there's this guy here. We give him the fuel cell controller and he gets the car running again. And now we can drive. Deja vu. I just been in this place before. Higher on the street. At War 13 I managed to gather some information about the military base. Maybe we can find something over there that might help us to find our people. The walls of this cave are a combination of natural rock and man-made walls. It looks like as if a large explosion of some kind destroyed the structure long ago. Interesting, interesting. Oh look, a doggy! Hi doggy! Hi doggy! Oh no, it's a wolf, but, but he's friendly. Let's see what we got here. Some stim packs, a survey map of some kind, a holodisc. Uh, what is going on right now? I think Doggy brought his friends. Guys, could you please let me out? I think we should get out of here. Great, now they're attacking us. And I thought we would have found some peaceful creatures in this wasteland. For once. Oh, I remember this place, guys. That's the place where the master from Fallout 1 created all the super mutants. The place that we blew up in the final episode of Fallout 1. Well, that's quite interesting, don't you think? There's also a way to enter the building, but no. Don't plant a bomb right in front of the entrance like I did. That's stupid. Who would do that? Only a person with no human mind would do that. Only a monkey mind would do that, you know? Uh, how, how, how come someone would do that? I mean... <sighs> There is a simple way. The way every normal thinking person would do it is, you take the metal pole, you just can't miss. It's right here. Put it in front of the mining cart, attach the dynamite to the metal pole and you are good to go. Guys, it's so simple. Oh look, the enclave was here, but it seems uh, it didn't end well for them. Well, yeah... <sighs> There's not much around here except for a super mutant trying to catch some rats. I repaired the generator and got the lift running again. And now we can proceed to the next floor. Oh my god. <laughs> super mutants and a lot of them. They are living down here. But how? They can't go out. The lift didn't work until now. I repaired it. So how do they do that? I mean living. Well, I guess we shouldn't think too much about it and just get rid of them. They were pretty strong and it took me a while to get rid of them all. But in the end, they stood no chance. But it was all worth it, because we found a power armor. Guys, let's be honest. Now we are boss and the game is good as done. I've missed the power armor since the end of Fallout 1. It looks so badass. Damn! And of course there are more super mutants. The deeper we go, the more they are. But they stand no chance. I thought that was it. But no, we still can go deeper. What? Who's that guy? Uh, looks like a super mutant king or something of that kind. Oh, let, let's take a closer look at that guy. Stop! Okay, that was way too fast, my friend. I couldn't read that. Let's slow that down a little. Approach no further. Make your Major the Magnificent commands you. Behold, I am the greatest magician in the world. Tremble before the might of Make your the Magnificent. My pets will feast on your bones. <laughs> what pets you, dumb little mutant? Uh, oh. Oh, I can tell you that guys, it was a hell of a fight, it took me a long time, I think, I think I, it, took, it took me one hour to kill the mutant magician and his freaking pets. In the end we did it, and, and for what? For, for a pistol? A small gauss pistol? For that? I hope it's one of those pistols like they use in Men in Black, you know? That would be cool. But I didn't skill on energy weapons, so for me it's useless, I guess. Well, I think since there's nothing more to do here, I guess we can leave this place for good. By reading the survey map we found earlier, another location got marked on our map. 
San Francisco. San Francisco? I know this place. I've never been there, but I know the song, you know. San Francisco. Well, that's cool. Let's head there. Wow, cool. Looks definitely different than the other places we've been so far. Uh, it looks so clean. Almost like walled city. Right. I think we'll be having a lot of fun here. Uh, your kung fu no good here. No, no good here. No, no, no. no. <sighs> I'll beat you someday, dragon. Okay. Seems like this guy's having a little bit of fun there in the middle of the city. Having fun beating the dragons. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Oh. I mean, in this game, most of the time you have to use a lot of imagination, because not everything is that animated like in nowadays games, you know? But that's cool. I'm absolutely okay with that. The first thing I saw and interested me the most was the Brotherhood of Steel building. So let's check that out. Apparently we can't go in there, but I had a nice long conversation with the guy there standing in front of the door. He told me that he's part of the Brotherhood of Steel and, and that they know about me. That's why they are asking me now for help. The thing is that the Enclave is making big trouble. For those of you that not played Fallout 3 and do not have any plan what the Enclave is, it's a big organization similar to the Brotherhood of Steel, with high technology and their own Enclave power armor, but with a much darker motive to rule the world and kill all living beings that are not like them pure human beings, not harmed by radioactivity or that are mutated in any way. And as you can guess, the Brotherhood and the Enclave don't like each other very much. Now this guy is asking me to infiltrate their outpost, get resources about the newest technology, the Vertibirds, and bring them back to him. The Enclave is currently planning on an invasion on all the wasteland and they might have kidnapped and killed my people from Arroyo. So for sure, I won't hesitate, I'm helping this guy. Our newest enemy will be the Enclave. That's some serious shit, right guys? Well, but that's the end for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you liked it. Like always, subscribe to my channel. Check out my Patreon. Next episode will coming soon. And have a nice day. Goodbye.